Hey there, Minecraft learners. Welcome to our video on multiplayer safety. I'm Danny from the Minecraft Education Support Team, and today we're going to talk about how to make sure your multiplayer adventures stay safe and fun. In Minecraft Education, playing with friends can make your learning experience even more exciting. But just like in the real world, it's important to know who you're interacting with. So let's dive into some essential tips on how to know who can join your worlds. Now let's review other key points about user setup and admin center. For most Microsoft organizational accounts, this will mean this is for those that are on your email domain or those at your school. Please remember only users in the same Microsoft 365 school account can join one another. If users on different domains, but those domains belong to the same Microsoft 365 school account, they can join each other. However, if they are on different domains, not in the same M365 school account, they cannot. For the sake of simplification and for your purposes, users in the same school can connect to each other. Users on the same admin center page can also connect with each other. It is extremely unlikely for an unexpected joinee to join your world in Minecraft Education. Thus, if someone joins your student's Minecraft Education world, it is not going to be an outside actor, but rather someone from your school or school district. And while Minecraft does not currently have chat logging features at this time, you can feel secure that all the following would have to be true for someone to join your child's world. The joinee would have to, have to 1. An account username and password on your M365 school account. 2. The exact join code for that specific instance. And 3. Know the exact times the world is online. The probability for these things to be true for an unexpected joinee is extremely low. So you can feel safe and secure in your world. Someone joining your student's world if they have a, a school account will either be from their school or from their school district. If someone wants to join your student's world from a commercial account, they must be from your domain. This is an intentional choice made by the Minecraft education team. This will protect student safety as only those with the join code and knowledge of when the game is hosted and those belonging to the same M365 school account can join one another. As a side note, you can refresh join code when you feel it is best while you are in the game as well. For example, if you accidentally post your join code in a public area, you may want to refresh it. The old join code will become invalidated once the new one is generated. Here is a quick view of what it will look like in Admin Center. Only users listed here can join one another. Alrighty, now on to learning more about sharing join codes. Let's check in with our classroom friends. Always play with the people you know and trust. This could be your classmates, teachers, or family members. When you're setting up a game, that is multiplayer, make sure to share the join code in a private area or channel with only those trusted individuals. When creating a world, you can control who can join by who you send the join code to. Remember, for your students and yourself, sharing your join code in an area or channel where other students may see it may lead to uninvited students joining your world. Always double check who you're inviting. Another important aspect is to be mindful of the behavior and interactions of students and players in the game. Ensure they know how to respect others' creations, follow the rules set by teachers, and report any inappropriate behavior. And here's some a little additional information for parents. That is to say, if you are a parent trying to join your student's world or play Minecraft education with them, and they have a school account and you have a commercial account, you cannot join their worlds. You can, however, purchase multiple licenses, administrate them in Admin Center, give one to your student and one to yourself, and when you both want to play together, they log in with that account on your domain. That way you can both play together.
If they wish, they can also export their worlds they were playing with in their student account, and one of you can host these so that they can show you around or they can continue learning together. We also have a video on purchasing commercial licenses in our knowledge base article here. And there you have it, Minecraft prodigies. By following these simple tips, you can ensure your multiplayer experience in Minecraft education remains safe, secure, and super fun. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team here. Happy crafting!